I am so excited about this video. We have been meaning to do this for so long because this has been a much requested idea from you guys. We are taking a cubicle, a plain, boring workspace, you can kind of see it behind me, and we are turning it into a cute cubicle, aka a cuticle. <laughs> See what I did there? So we are going to be turning a cubicle into a cuticle three different ways. Even if you don't work in a cubicle, you can get inspired for your personal workspace, your desk at home, your desk at work. And of course, we're gonna be incorporating some DIYs that may or may not be with a potato. Hmm, sounds weird? Nope, super cute. Trust me, I promise. And we are also going to be using, of course, some beautiful decor items. And we are going to be using some amazing organizational elements, AKA planners, because we are going into the new year. So we have three different styles of planners to go with the three different styles of rooms. And those planners are from At A Glance, which is handy dandy, our sponsor for today's video. So thank you, At A Glance. We don't have actual cubicles here. We built what was closest to a cubicle look. Of course, I know all cubicles are different, but we did what was sort of as close as possible. You can interpret for your own cuticles. Yes, let's get into it. Okay, for this first cubicle, let's play with a sleek design, and we are going to be keeping with a black, white, and gray color palette, which you can establish with a beautiful piece of fabric draped over an area of the cubicle, and rather than a desk lamp, we can add a clamp lamp a fun graphic pillow with uh, cats for some seat cushioning. A cube organizer with small drawers helps keep stacks of papers organized, as well as some more paper sorting file holders up top. A little succulent, a wood cup for maybe some extra pens, a simple globe for decor and daydreaming about travel, and a clipboard with a cool handwritten Mr. Kate quote available in our shop. Let's add a cute pattern to this round cork mat that can be used as a mouse pad or a coaster. You just simply cut out your pattern with a sharp knife into the potato, no blood allowed, and use it as a stamp with some black paint. For the desktop styling, some essentials like a coffee mug on our DIY coaster, a stapler, some headphones, etc. A brass frame photo and flowers in a clear glass jug vase add a personal touch. For the other side, let's add some life with a snake plant, wood figurine, tape dispenser, candle, and of course, our planner. The planner I chose to style in this space is a minimalist weekly and monthly option that has a really soft leather-like cover. And inside, there's one week per two page spread for all the days of the week and an area for notes, hello, grocery list. And I also love when there is a back pocket in my planners to store some of my random sketches or papers. Oh, and by the way, you can click on the link below to find an awesome at a glance planner that fits your style and needs for the new year. And the finishing touch of this black and white space will be another fun Mr. Kate quote. This one is showcasing the definition of a creative weirdo, which I will layer slightly over the fabric and attach it to the cubicle backing with some simple wood push pins. And ta-da, let's take a look at this sleek and graphic space. Oh, I love this cute cubicle design. It's so sleek, but now it's time to move on to our next style, which is cozy. And this is for those of you that want to bring a piece of home to work with you using textures and neutral earthy items. Let's start with a white work lamp, pattern boxes for storage, and a terracotta pot with an indoor happy pothos plant, and some more of our handy file folders, some white pottery, and some crystal bookends. Some personal items like a hat and a vintage camera add a cozy look and a faux flower pot makes for no dead petals falling on your head. On the back of your cubicle, you can use it to create a collage of travel mementos or cute reminder notes written on gift tags instead of post-its. Now for more plants, which you can only use if you have some natural light in your space, otherwise use faux plants, a bark covered candle, frame, and some more desk organizers. Oh, and hey, why not use a piece of scrap tile as a coaster and a trackpad stand for more texture and hominess? Oh, and hey, maybe sometimes you're a little messy, aren't we all? But at least you can make it cute with some gold paper clips. Behind the lamp, we can build up our collage with some more nature-inspired photos, and they are all put up with some more push pins. Now let's add some more neutral texture with crystals and a mini dream catcher, which we will have a DIY video coming out for that soon. And of course, our special planner to fit this style. 
Let's take a closer look at this beautiful B positive watercolor planner that we are using in this space. It spans a whole 12 months, of course, with Julian dates and large ruled sections for planning your peaceful world domination. Oh, and tasks. <laughs> oh, and I also love that on the right hand page there are positive messages to encourage your productivity because everybody needs kudos, guys. So boho, I love it. And I love to add a cozy throw blanket to the back of the office chair because you might need it as a lap blanket on those chilly days at the office. And no, we are not done because of course it is DIY time with those potatoes, everybody. This time we are going to take a plain linen pillowcase cardboard, some sketched out eyes for inspiration, and some black fabric paint. Oh, and yep, you guessed it, a potato. We also have a marker, foam brush, and a sharp knife. Lay your pillowcase flat and decide which size eye you want to use for your pattern. And then you cut your potato lengthwise, careful of your fingies, and wipe off any moisture, aka potato juice. And then you will sketch on your simple eye shape using the marker. Now it's time to carve out around the eye shape to make the stamp so that the eye is sticking up away from the rest of the potato meat. Ew. Now stick a piece of cardboard inside the pillowcase to protect from the paint bleeding through to the other side and use your foam brush to create a smooth layer of paint to dunk your potato stamp in and then start stamping. This is an organic handmade look of course like any stamp so if there are any drips or imperfections that is okay. It's part of the charm. It's cozy. I mean are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> How cool is this? I'm totally obsessed. This is the perfect finishing touch for this cozy and inviting space. Okay, let's move on to our last cubicle style and this is a fun, chic, colorful, on trend because we are using a very on trend marble lamp and that same gray paper organizer from before. Oh, and I love these paper fans that you can open up into full circles because they're super colorful and they're lightweight so they're really easy to tack up and they add so much flair. Let's add a beautiful gold organizer, some faux peonies in a clear vase and a pink teacup and saucer adds just such a girly cuteness. Oh my gosh, look at all that fun stuff coming in. It is a pink party. <gasps> Are those pink headphones? Yes, pink stapler. Let's add some more faux flowers in a vase. So cute, and a feather pen, which is just more fun to write with. Come on, let's be honest. And a gold chicken tape dispenser because why not? And of course, our beautiful planner for this space. I love that this planner has a gold reminder of Paris on the front of it. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. This one features one week per two page spread as well as one month page spreads so that you can plan and there's an area for lists and reminders so you can get as detailed as you want. And there is also past and future month reference calendars for you to plan your next year's trip. Obviously, I really want to travel, but let's get back to the cubicle. I love this tip for bringing in more color. You can use a pink throw pillow on the chair and use a piece of poster board covered with whatever fabric you want. You can just use a hot glue gun to adhere it. For this top shelf, let's add some really cute storage canisters and boxes and pom-poms in a clear jar and a thrift store oil painting. Oh, and a watercolor print. It's just color blocked cuteness. And this brings us to another DIY moment with our potatoes. And this one is super easy. We're just making a little dot shape to create some black and white polka dot art, which you can put in a cute pink frame and it just adds some pattern to a space. You could totally do this also large scale with different shapes for an even bolder statement. I love all of those. I don't really have a favorite personally. I love elements of each one and I love that of course we infuse some DIY stuff in there and I'm sure that you guys have your favorites. If you do, I'd love to hear from you in the comments and thank you so much for hanging out for this video. We love doing these three-way challenges for you guys so if you guys have any ideas or requests for the next one, please let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. We'd love to just just keep doing these videos as a series, like something three ways that we can build in our studio because it's so much fun to play around. So please comment and also make sure you subscribe so that you know when we have the next video coming at you, you get that notification, you don't want to miss it. Be part of our hashtag Mr. Kate one million family. And also follow me on social media, all those places because I'm constantly posting stuff for your inspotainment. I love that word. You know what other word I love? Cuticle. Speaking of, I need a manicure. No, it's for the cutie cubicle. You guys get it. You're smart. 
So if you guys got inspired by this video and you are gonna make your personal cubicles cute, I would love to see your hashtag cuticles. So use hashtag cuticle or Mr. Kate cuticle or just Mr. Kate, whatever, I'll find it. And I will bask in your creativity. Love you so much, thumbs up the video, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah.